learning to play the piano with her aunt. And it's really hard to believe that she's not here. Even though it's been a year, you'd think my brain would know it by now, but. It's been 13 months since Allison Shoemake died of a heroin overdose. A year of pain and anguish for her parents, Fred and Dorothy. A year the Middletown family has committed to saving other lives. I didn't want our loss to be anybody else's loss. And if we could talk about it, if just talking about it would save anybody else's child. That's the message the Shoemakes will take to lawmakers in Washington, D.C. next week. It's the message they shared openly and honestly in their daughter's obituary. Dorothy discovered her daughter's lifeless body. That early morning, still clear. I called my husband and then I called 911. While I waited for them to come, I sat with her and I sang to her. Allie's always been a star, a sparkle in her family's lives. Her father, a 35-year law enforcement veteran, now warns other parents. If you notice something, you can, you can try to guide them um, in the right direction, but that's, that's the best you can do. Talk to your family about it. Ask them to talk to their friends about it. This really is everywhere in our community. How the Shoemakes family returns from Washington in time for the Bash Against Heroin fundraiser in Middletown next week. Reporting from the newsroom, Richard Childs, WWT News 5.